So you've got a great big spreadsheet. You want to be able to go to a number and find it fast. I mean, with dealing with all these numbers, let's say you, wanted, you recall that there was a number that was incorrect. Like Bob comes up to you and says, look, sometime in January, or I can't remember, but you put down $210.35. That's not right. It's actually something else. Well, there may be a lot of $210.35 in sales here. So to quickly find something, you can always use the shortcut key, Control F, and it brings up the Find window, or you can close out of that. Come to the Home tab and go to the Editing group, and then click on the Find button, and come down here and click on Find. It brings up the same window. Now I notice the formatting here is in dollars, and that doesn't matter. And there's the $10, let's say $0.35. Cents. So we'll go ahead and type in here 210.35, and then all I have to do is hit Find Next, or Remember, if you have a button that's got a little blue halo uh, around it or an outline, that means you can use your Enter key on the keyboard, and it's just the same as if you actually clicked on the button itself. So I'm going to hit Enter on the keyboard and it automatically takes me to it. So it looks good. So then I can close out of here, make the changes that I need to, and move along. Now let's say you have a bunch of numbers that are the same, and you want to find and replace those numbers without having to find one, type over it, find another one, type over it, like all these $400. So to find them and instant replace, replace all of them at the same time, again, you can come up here and click on the Find button. You can go to Replace, or let me click off in a blank area, and do Control F, and click on the Replace tab. Let me click and drag the window out of the way on its header here. And I'm going to click up here and replace Find with 400. Hit the Tab key, and let's say we want to replace all the $400 in sales, and let's say it was actually 415 So I can come down here and click Find All. And it actually gives me, I can expand this here a little bit, this window. It gives me the cell and the value that it found. And it found one, two, three, four. And there's one, here the rest, two, three, four. And I can click on those links down here and it takes me right to that cell, right? And then I can come over here and make the changes. But why not just go ahead and click replace? I can replace that and it changes it to 415 or just replace all. When it's done, it says, look, the remaining three replacements have been made because I've already made the first replacement, which as you just saw here, and so it only had three left to replace. Click OK. It's automatically updated. Now everything is showing a current value of 415, which is what I replaced the 400 with. And by the way, this will search more than just the worksheet you're currently working in. It, it search, or it can search the entire workbook. And this entire workbook so far consists of uh, two additional sheets. So if you want to have it search the entire workbook and have it replace all the numbers or go ahead and find them, because you can see here it says Sheet 1. I mean, if it found this on Sheet 2 or if you had another name for your worksheet like uh, North Region or European Sales or whatever you name the worksheet to, and you'll learn this in future training videos here, it'll actually give us the worksheet name here and give us a link we can just click on. It'll take us right to that worksheet. So if you want to search throughout the whole workbook, then just click on the Option button here, change the Within from Sheet to Workbook, and then click on find all and of course it's looking for 400 it can't find anything so it says look I've searched the whole workbook including worksheet 2, 3, 4, 5 however many worksheets you have within your workbook here and it can't find anything go ahead and click OK and to take it just a little bit further and I'm not going to go too far in this because we're still learning in level 1 here but you can actually search by format I can come up here and delete what I want to find and what I want to replace with in fact if I just come to the find tab and let's say I just want to find certain cells with a certain format you can click on the drop down arrow here and click on format and let's say you have cells that are in currency they have a different alignment to them they have a different font like maybe it's Arial or Calibri or maybe it's bold let me click cancel you can select those formats so it search just those cells that contains those formats like bold here so let's go ahead and try that let me click on the format arrow do format and let me just look for anything that's bold and I'll click OK and I'll go ahead and say find all there we go it found Dream Notes here, and if I come down here and click on the second link, it comes to Dream Notes down below because that's in bold. And you can see it up here on the Home tab in the font group that B for bold is highlighted in orange, telling me that it's currently active or using the bold font. And then, of course, I can come here to the Replace tab and say, look, I want you to replace the bold with, uh, let me choose a format. Oh, let's do something colorful. Any time you find something bold, let's give it something orange and click OK. And let's have Replace All made the two replacements, click OK, and there we go, looks great. Now if I close out of here, and I go, let's see, now I want to find a number. Let's say I'm looking for actually the totals in here. So I do Control F, or again, you can click on the uh, find, find and Select button. And I'm going to come in here, I want to find totals, or maybe just a number. Let me hold down the Shift key and hit the Home key at the same time. And what it does is it takes the cursor from the end and automatically selects it to the beginning for me, if you didn't know that shortcut. And that's in the Word training video. We got all these little fun tips. 
let's say it's the number 514, $514, which is right there, you can see it. What happens if I go ahead and click Find Next? Why is it not finding it even though I can see it right there? Well, when I click OK, you can see that it's still looking for the bold font. So it's saying, look, I'll find the 514 for you, but only if it's in bold. You see what happens in Excel? It retains or it remembers previous searches. So even when I close out of here and I click on the Find button down to Find again, it brings up the 514. Also, it brings up previous searches in the format I was searching for, like bold. So what I want to do is anytime I do a new search, make sure there's no formatting here. And to clear it, click on the Format button and choose Clear Find Format. Then go ahead and click on Find Next or Find All, and it takes me right to it, which looks good. Now, if you want to see this used in another way, then you want to watch the training video on number formats. That will be a fun one for you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.